We reckon Big Brother and uh, more specifically uh, Alexandra. Alexandra. She, uh, she's been threatening the rest of the Big Brother inmates. Is I that think the word? it's really inmates. funny. Can we just clarify, because Alex might be watching this, she's, she's out of the house now. I don't respect you. <laughs> Did you see what she said? She said, I've got gangster friends, they can do what I say, pow, pow. Like, how old is she? Eight. They're going to get you, pow, pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with girls, is at school, they never learn a good gun noise, you see. No. <laughs> but, it, like, if that had been a bloke, he'd have given it the old... <laughs> do you know what I mean? I believe the phrase is, blap, blap, blap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, no-one fuck with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll never be ready. <laughs> you remember I told you. <laughs> What's that? That's, that a, like... that's how I roll, my <laughs> <laughs> It's not how I roll, I roll no. like that. <laughs> With the <laughs> in the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you were in a gang, you'd be the treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's winding me up, though, is E4's coverage of the, of the live streaming. Yeah. And they let you watch them sleep, they let, them, let you watch them eat, but any time anything interesting happens, they cut to a break. They start doing the... <laughs> little bird noises and all that stuff, right? And it's quite annoying. There's been a few times where they're like, oh, yeah, now guess what? Guess who I've had sex with? Well, I'll tell you... On <laughs> 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 <The> Tuesday. <laughs> Sean, Mike, Theopathetis, off of Dragon's Den. Yeah. What have the nation been talking about? <laughs> it's, is it the uh, visit this week of uh, George Bush to London? Visited London, Gordon Brown, very pleased to see him. <laughs> yeah, thrilled. Yeah. We? Well, I imagine he is. It makes him look better, doesn't it? Same principle like Simon Cowell got Piers Morgan on Britain's Got Talent. He says, if you think I'm a smug, self-satisfied <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bloke. I think... <laughs> is that warm here? I think it's just funny that, you know, when uh, I'm Canadian and when our Prime Minister visits, not a lot of hoopla. Like, like when our Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, and right there I could have said any name at all. <laughs> I could have said Zorak the Invincible, <laughs> and there'd still be people watching at home yeah, going, yeah. yeah, I hear he's invincible. Yeah. Yes, Zorak. <laughs> George Bush got 12 Windsor Castle, and I thought that would be an episode of Cribs. I wouldn't mind watching. <laughs> Just Prince Philip walking around, going to the bedroom, and this is where the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he was secretly a little bit disappointed that Windsor Castle wasn't bouncy? <laughs> <laughs> you saying he's stupid? That's what I was saying. That's one of his greatest skills, isn't it? It's, it's, it's this idea that he's convinced everyone he's stupid, and he's not stupid. He's just really anti-clever, isn't he? So he, <laughs> he doesn't like clever things. Like reading books the right way up. I'm going to go through a couple of things he has said over the years. Yeah. When asked to describe the White House, he said, it is white. <laughs> Technically oh, correct. It's not wrong. OK. He said, more and more of our imports come from abroad. <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah. OK. I think we can agree the past is over. It's all right. Just, that is it's fact right. after fact. Right. <laughs> Here we go. He's a fact machine. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. When asked by a reporter, why Osama bin Laden had not been caught, he said, he's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mr. Paul Sue said that he, he, he saw the Queen naked yes, in her bedroom. Oh. How did he manage that? He was chasing a corgi that ran into the Queen's bedroom. Apparently the Queen was stood there naked. It's sort of freaky. Imagine busting in and seeing, like, four corgis and a naked Queen. That sounds like the, the best hand you can have in a poker game. <laughs> Four corgis and a naked queen. <laughs> What's the etiquette for, for seeing the queen naked? What do you do? Do you bow? Do you salute? I've seen her naked. Yeah? On Photoshop. <laughs> amazing, she looks. <laughs> She's got an amazing tattoo. It's a full fox hunt coming over her shoulders. <laughs> A load of dogs across her tummy <laughs> and a little fox <laughs> nipping in for cover. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> rising prices of food. Food's gone way up. Anyone who has their five a day now is just showing off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but interestingly, there's one food that hasn't gone up. Tripe. It's still a very reasonable eight pence a tonne. <laughs> <laughs> 
fear. Well, you're a businessman, right? Yeah. You may understand yeah. this kind of thing. Explain to me what's going on. Well, basically, the Chancellor got a letter from the Governor of the Bank of England to tell him we're fucked, officially. <laughs> it took a letter from the Governor of the Bank of England... You know, the worst thing about the letter cost cool. the Chancellor 25 quid. <laughs> Ryman's and Lacenza, isn't it? The under the lingerie. Um, Ron Lacenza, yes. I've had an idea for you. Crotchless post-it notes. <laughs> and, you see, and... there's a demand, do you? Yeah, huge. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the old sexy underwear situation. I've. Um, we I've... don't do your size. <laughs> 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 And there's loads of money saving tips people are putting out that you know you, there's loads of different ways you can save money and I was thinking of cut one like breakfast is that you know I know it's wrong but steal birds eggs for your breakfast <laughs> they're littler but they're actually quite tasty <laughs> and I've started taking hormones and in a few months I'll be lactating so that's milk in the morning <laughs> Just saving little saving and what I do is make a great big pot of stew really big pot of stew pigeons yeah but have you, pigeons, have you... What? Pigeons. Well, what do you say, pigeons? You can't just say pigeons. You've got to have yeah. something before it and after it, Theo. You can't just go, pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good idea? Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar <laughs> Square, yeah. Get, get the pigeon. Get the pigeon. Eat the pigeons. In the They've street. all gone. Who got rid of the pigeons? Have you gone mental? They've literally gone mental. <laughs> This is serious. I know you've got <laughs> money. Have you been drinking all day? <laughs> I run a lingerie shop. Pigeons. Uh, <laughs> 66% of people would rather have a robot than a pet. True or false? I mean, I've got two cats. I've got two Ew. cats. I don't like. I don't like them. I prefer dogs. But what I like about dogs is every so often, it just winks at you. Just you know, <laughs> just gives you a little wink. That's because they're content with life. It's sort of they wink at you to go, it's all right, isn't it, life? And cats occasionally wink at you as well. They sort of go, if you don't give me food, I will chew your face off. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> your mum's got loads of dogs, hasn't she? Yeah, she does. She's got about 20. And my dad, she had this room built. It just has a chair, a TV that's on the Animal Channel, and <laughs> chairs for my dad to go in there and hang out with the dog. Literally, <laughs> you've got a dog house for your dad. <laughs> He says dogs don't talk back. I have daughters, I can understand that completely. I sit on the shitter for days. <laughs> the downside of having a robot is, of course, you're always dissatisfied with it because you always know there's a slightly improved model out there with a better voice. Like so that's always going to make you... Because <laughs> we're constantly going, oh, I want the one that goes, doesn't go, yes, now I love you. That sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. Come here, honey, give me a kiss. <laughs> Top thing to rescue if your house is on fire. My mum always had this fear that our house was going to burn down. It's because you've got Ozzy Osbourne wandering around it. <laughs> so I still have this ladder, so if there was ever a fire, I could jump out my window and climb down. You would think that with the money your parents have got, they'd put slides instead of ladders. That'd be a lot more yeah, fun, wouldn't it, for kids? Gets... Woo! There's a fire again! Fire! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> First thing I'd save, the recycling. Because I spent so long sorting out bottles. <laughs> I'm not going to waste that two hours. I'm not going to waste that. That's coming with me. You haven't got that long. I know. All right, there's no need to shout, Theo. <laughs> it's a fire. Don't worry. Kelly, what would you rescue? Probably my pictures. I'd rescue my photographs because if the police ever get hold of them, I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs>